Welcome back to the Snowpoint Cast. Today we're going to be looking at a deck from RS to PK, Gorbis. So Gorbis, this is another one of those decks that's uh, really cool, really fun. Probably not a top tier, but uh, definitely a really cool deck. Shout out to uh, Isaiah Cheville, uh, Cheville, my bad if I'm butchering your last name. Um, he's just a guy in the old format Pokemon community, buddy of mine for a while. This is uh, his list that I kind of switched up a little bit. We kind of discussed um, some other ads that are kind of cool to the deck. Uh, but the starting point was his list. It's maybe two or three cards off, so shout out to him for um, the starting list for this deck. It's a really neat deck. Okay, so let's get into it. Starting off with three Clam Pearl. Um, we play three of this one and one of another one. So this one's got 50 HP, Water Type, Iron Defense for one, uh, Colorless, Flip a Coin of Heads to prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to Clam Pearl during your opponent's next turn. So that's really solid, just being able to stall a turn um, if your opponent is putting on some early pressure and you don't have much but a attach. And then Clamp Splash uh, for one Water does 10. <clears throat> You play one of these guys too, so this is the um, Hidden Legends uh, Clam Pearl. So this one's got 10 less HP, but a body um, that lets it take 10 less damage when it gets attacked. So this is mainly a tech against uh, Arcanine. You know, if you have to drop a Clam Pearl on the bench, and you're not sure if you're like you have to draw into a potential out next turn. Um, having the 20 snipe reduced by 10 is uh, kind of nice. I'm not sure if it's better than the Iron Defense one. The Iron Defense one might actually be better, but um, I, I'm trying this one out just because it's kind of neat. And then Bubble for a Water Colorless uh, does 20, and then Flip a Coin of Heads, the defending Pokemon is now paralyzed. So it's playing three Gorbis. Um, so this is uh, your main attacker, 70 HP. Water type, Stun Needle for one colorless does 10. Flip a coin of heads, the defending Pokemon is now paralyzed. So this seems like a pretty mediocre attack, but um, if you're getting set up, which this deck is a setup deck, you have to get a lot of energy attached for Mystic Water. Um, Stun Needle can be a really good stall strategy uh, if your opponent's putting on uh, some early pressure. So flip a coin, yeah, obviously the paralyzed attack. And then Mystic Water for water colorless, um, 20, plus 10 damage for each psychic energy you have in play. So the point of the deck is just to accelerate a bunch of energy and then uh, swing for lots for cheap and then the free retreat on this guy is actually kind of nice too that's uh, something to note as well as both of these Gorbis have free retreat um, the other one the other Gorbis this one uh, also has free retreat which is nice still 70 HP water type reactive booster so this is the the heart of the deck this is the, like what makes the deck work really so it says each react energy card attached to all of your Huntail and Gorbis provides two energy of every type but has no other effect than providing energy so being able to um, accelerate with Huntail, which we're going to get to in just a second, and then have those count for two Psychic Energy for Mystic Water is actually really neat, really clutch. Um, and then Hydro Pump, I guess, is an attack you could use. So Water Color is 30. Does 30 damage plus 20 damage for each Water Energy attached to Gorbis, but not used to pay for this attack's cost. You can't add more than 40 damage in this way. Not going to be attacking with this guy a lot, except in pinch situ situations. Mostly going to be attacking with Mystic Water. There's like two Huntail, kind of a split line here, four, uh, three, one, two. Kind of a weird line, but makes sense because they both evolved from Clam Pearl. Uh, so Huntail, Reactive Generator, once during your turn before you attack, if Huntail has no React Energy cards attached to it, you may search your deck for a React Energy card and attach it to Huntail. Shuffle your deck afterwards. So this is the acceleration that kind of works with the other Gardevoir. You can get Huntail into play, accelerate a React Energy to it, um, and then all of a sudden you are starting to accelerate your board, which is really nice. There's a couple other energies that you play, which we're going to get into when we get into the energy line. But the reactive generator to accelerate with this Gorbis is actually really, really cool. And then Bite Off is actually not bad. <clears throat> um, so Water, two colors, 40. If the defending Pokemon is a Pokemon EX, this attack does 10 damage plus 30 more damage. So that's one shots and Arcanine EX. This is like the main strength of this deck is uh, it does beat the tar out of Arcanine EX, which is really nice. Um, and then moving on, we are playing three Holland's Cast Form. Solon's cast form, 50 HP. Uh, you can't use Delta Draw because you don't play in a Delta Pokemon, which is unfortunate. But the thing about Holland's cast form that's really nice is it has a lot of synergy with Huntail. So Reactive Generator only works if you don't have a React Energy on. So if you already have a React Energy, you can't use Reactive Generator anymore. But Holland's cast form works like this. If your Pokemon already has an energy attached, let's say there's a Huntail, and let's say he's got a React Energy attached. If you have a cast form, you can go cast form, return the react to hand, and then if you have a, like a shuffle draw supporter, like a rocket's admin or something, you can shuffle that back into the deck, then use reactive generate and put it on. Then all of a sudden you have one, two, three, four psychic energy if you have the other Gorbis in play. So kind of a neat play you can do there. Um, that's like the main reason you play. Also, it's just worth two psychic, so just being able to accelerate in that way is nice as well. You also play two Ditto. Uh, so Ditto is just mainly to keep your attackers and support Pokemon in play. You only play a four of the basic lines, so you kind of have to play something to uh, support that. 
60 HP, four variations of the power, so really good power. Uh, once during your turn before you attack, you may search your discard pile for a basic Pokemon, excluding Pokemon EX, and Ditto, and switch it with Ditto. Any cards attached to Ditto, damage counters, special conditions, and effects on it um, are now on the new defending Pokemon. So something you can do with Ditto is you can just, you know, if I have a Ditto out and I have a Clamp Roll in the discard, I can swap them. And then if Ditto's been in play for a turn, everything stays the same, so I can evolve that Clamp Roll right away, which uh, just helps you stream your Gorbises and Huntails if you're... Getting knocked out, that's really bad. So being able to have some more support other than your four clan pearl uh, to keep your basics in play is really clutch in a deck where you only play four of your main attacker. Just playing one Roselia. Uh, Roselia is kind of the cool card that uh, I added to the deck because I think it's just really solid and uh, helps the deck out a lot. So 60 HP, grass type, reactive aroma. This is the only deck in existence um, that is kind of decent that uses reactive aroma, I think, that I've that I've found or seen so far. So reactive aroma, as long as Roselia has any react energy cards attached to it, remove one damage counter from each of your Pokemon, excluding Pokemon EX, that has any react energy cards attached to it in between turns. So <clears throat> you accelerate with Huntail, right? Putting the react energies on Huntail, we're going to get into another card called Surprise Time Machine, which lets you swap out Gorbis and Huntail. So it lets you keep your main attackers um, really, you know, healthy and full health against snipe decks this is mostly against you know decks like raichu um also can help against arcanine but again that's already a really positive matchup raichu and um like uh railer is <laughs> a really bad matchup but it can kind of prevent the snipe there from uh being able to oh no it's still two shots that's so bad but yeah some some snipe you know um tyranitar is another one of those things that's actually pretty good against as well so having that heal option against you know like bomb tar and rags the two main ones that are big threats in the format that are kind of top tiers um having that reactive aroma to, to heal that is really nice against the snipe decks because you do have not a lot of hp 70 and 80 is uh, not that tanky and then flick poison is another attack that's really good in the deck so flick poison for one colorless Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with the defending Pokemon. Your opponent chooses the defending Pokemon to switch. Confusing because double battles, but you get to choose the bench Pokemon, bring it up. And then the new defending Pokemon is now poison. So this is obviously nice to be able to uh, shut off powers. You know, if your opponent has a Jirachi or something, you're just able to bring that up and then ma make it a little bit slower for them to set up. Kind of, if you, if you slow the setup down, that's the main point of Flick Poison. Is if, you, if you can slow the setup down and build your board to a point where you're like one-shotting everything or two-shotting everything with Mystic Water, um, then that's how the deck can like really uh, be a force to be reckoned with. If it, if it has a few turns to set up and kind of attach energy, um, then it's really powerful. And Flick Poison kind of helps you get there, helps you stall out a little bit. I was playing one Lapras, so Lapras got 80 HP. Uh, support Nav is the main reason you play this, so it's a support navigation. Once during a turn, when you put Lapras on your bench from your hand, uh, you may search your deck for a supporter card, show it to your opponent, put it in your hand. So just a consistency out uh, that's really nice. And then speaking of consistency, you're also playing one Jirachi. So Jirachi, uh, Wishing Star, if it's your active Pokemon, you can make it a sleep, and then look at the top five cards of your deck. Uh, choose a card you find there, put it in your hand, and then shuffle the rest back. So just great to help set up if you uh, don't want to have Roselian active for whatever reason. Just a good setup card. And uh, Tauros, you're playing one Tauros as well. This is kind of a, a a flex spot. I think Tauros could be cut for something, but I do like Tauros. The Tauros, 70 HP, one colorless, uh, crush chance, one... Once during your turn, when you bench Tauros from your hand on your bench, you may discard a stadium card in play. So the, this is the main reason you're playing Tauros, is just so you can have essentially infinite stadium discards. There's a lot of stadiums that really hurt you. So being able to discard stadiums is really nice. Cursed Stone really hurts. Um, yeah, that, that's the main one. It's just hitting all your power Pokemon for lots of damage. So being able to get that out of there is really nice. Uh, also, Crystal Beach to an extent. Uh, actually, Crystal Beach really hurts you because it hurt, shuts all your energy off from psychic energies to... Uh, Colorless, which is really awful. Uh, and then it also has a pretty good attack. So Call for Family, one color. Search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon. Put them under your bench. Shuffle your deck afterwards. So decent for setting up. And then uh, Horn Attack for two does 20. And you're also playing one Holland's Voltorb. This is just so you can... Uh, energy is a little bit more consistent. It does the same thing as Cast Form, except it's one color. So let's say you start a Tauros. If you have a Holland Mentor or something, that can search for a Pokemon. Three, bas three basic Pokemon. Don't have an energy. You can grab this guy. Attach it. And then... Uh, Fulfill a colorless cost of the attack, which is the main reason for him, and he's kind of nice in that way. Okay, uh, moving on to the trainer cards. We're playing four Holland Transceiver, kind of staple in any, any uh, Holland build deck. This isn't a Holland build, but uh, we're just playing the Holland engine because it's really powerful. Uh, so search your deck for a supporter card that has Holland's name, show it to your opponent, put it in your hand, or search your discard, rather, uh, for a supporter that has Holland's name. 
show it to your opponent, put it in your hand. So just being able to have your Holland supporters whenever you want them is really nice. Mainly Holland uh, Mentor, which is your main uh, setup card. Just you play four of these because hitting that turn one is really, really important. If you're also playing four Pokemon Retriever, because like I was saying, you're playing a really thin line of your main attacker, so being able to retrieve those Pokemon is really nice. Uh, also being able to take those energy back is clutch. You know, if a, uh, Gorbis goes down to the cast form and you want an energy, being able to just retrieve the cast form is really nice. Or Tauros as well. Um, there's another card that we're about to get into called Swoop Teleporter. Um, we'll, we'll just get to that when we get to that, but just great for retrieving. Uh, Search your deck, discard pile for basic Pokemon evolution cards. You can either choose one of each or one of either and put it in your hand or choose three and shuffle in your deck. So just great Pokemon recovery there for sure. Okay, this is the really cool part of the deck is four surprise time machine. So surprise time machine lets you do this. Let's say I have a clam pearl go like this. <clears throat> I'm gonna have a clam pearl out. I'll evolve it to a hunt tail, search for a react energy, put the react on. And let's say I have a Gorbis out as well because this is like, you know, react is mainly for that. You have a Gorbis, you go that, and then you play Surprise Time Machine. You can switch one of your Evolved Pokemon in play with an Evolved Pokemon in your deck. So you can just go like this, put this back in the deck, and then put the Gorbis out. And then if you have this Gorbis, it's just attacking. So kind of a neat acceleration there. Um, and also, you know, Huntail's not an amazing attacker. He's okay in some matchups, but most matchups you don't want to be attacking with Huntail. So being able to switch that out is really nice. Also being able to switch into this Gorbis, if that's something that you want to do as well. Um, because finding this one is a really important part of your setup as well. So just being able to find whatever Gorbis part or Huntail part that you need, or Gorbis part after you Huntail, rather, uh, is really nice and just super neat part of the deck. That, uh, you know, because you're playing Clamp Rolls and Gorbis and Huntail, they, they all evolve from the same thing. You can kind of just use this card really effectively to switch around your stage ones, uh, especially because Huntail's kind of dead after it's used its ability. You want it in the deck so that you can draw it again to put on another Clamp Roll to use the ability on a, a one that doesn't have a React Energy already. So really, really cool card in the deck. That's probably the funnest part of the deck is Surprise Time Machine. It's so cool. Um, another really fun part of the deck is Swoop Teleporter. So we play three, three Swoop Teleporter, search your, discard pile, or search your deck for a basic Pokemon, excluding Pokemon EX, and switch it with one of your basic Pokemon in play, and then uh, everything stays the same on it, and discard the previous basic Pokemon. So that's why Tauros, I think, is so good, because you can go Bench Tauros, um, Crush Chance, and then once it's dead on the bench, right, you use Crush Chance, got the Stadium out of the way, that's great, but now that it's uh, used it, it's kind of dead. You can Swoop Teleporter into uh, something else, you know, like a... Clam Pearl, probably, but also maybe a Roselia if that's what you need. Discard it, get it back with a Pokemon Retriever, and then play it again. And you kind of have like not infinite loop, but you have so many options for Tauros. You can go single Tauros, swoop, retriever one, swoop, retriever two, swoop, retriever three. That's not always what happens, but that can absolutely happen in a matchup. Um, plus three Windstorm. This lets your stadiums uh, be kind of consistent and being it not not your stadiums, but keeping their stadiums out of play. Um, also great for shutting off Cessation Crystal. Cessation is a really bad card for the deck. It shuts off all your Poke Powers and Body, so it shuts off all three of these and these and all three of these and Crush Chance. So it's really bad, especially these three. Shutting those off is really, really bad for your deck. Um, just to go back and talk about Swoop Teleporter for a second. Another kind of nice part about Swoop Teleporter is you can get rid of Lapras. Lapras is another one of those cards. Is once it's benched, it's great, but uh, after it's out of the done its job it's kind of dead um also starting a voltorb or a cast form you can just ditch those and then uh, potentially retrieve them back later and get a, just a better pokemon and play that you want to play this is playing one warp point uh warp point your opponent switches one, their active pokemon with one of their bench pokemon and then you do the same so being able to this is like a one of that i it's also kind of a flex spot i think uh, warp point can be switched for sure but also something that I've found often what opponents do against this deck because you're kind of slow and you're just setting up until you can attack is they'll just chuck something active that they don't really care if it dies. And then as soon as you put up a real attacker, then they'll start attacking you. But they'll just be loading stuff on their bench. And when you have the option to just go, hey, I'm not going to hit that thing and you're active. I'm going to hit whatever's on your bench. That is a really solid option to have against decks that are playing like that against you. So I think the one of war point is good, but it also could be switched for a couple other things. I was playing three Rockets Admin. Uh, so Rockets Admin is a staple supporter card in the format, really solid. Each player shuffles his hand into his or her deck and then uh, draws for their prize card, up to their prize card. So you don't have to draw up to that, that many, but you can uh, draw up to that many. So shuffle draw six early game, which is really nice. And then late game, it's a little bit more disruption-y, uh, being able to you know, shuffle your opponent's hand in, force them to draw four, three, or two, or really late in the game, one um, can be a winning condition for sure. So just a great, solid card. I was playing three Holland Mentors. This is your uh, main setup card that I was talking about before. Discard a card from your hand because uh, it's a Holland card. Uh, search your deck for up to three basic Pokemon that have 100 HP or less. Show them to your opponent and put them in your hand. So that's fine. That finds all of your basic Pokemon. 
So everything that's not the Huntail line. Um, so really nice for finding out. You play a bunch of like tech cards that are kind of useful in different situations. So being able to search for those uh, is really, really clutch. Hall and Mentor, just a great card. Also playing two Steven's Advice. Uh, so draw a number of cards up to the number of your opponent's Pokemon in play. If you have seven or more cards, including this one in your hand, you cannot play this card. So just another really solid draw support. Um, you kind of need some big combo hands sometimes with Surprise Time Machine and Pokemon Retriever or Swoop and uh pokemon retriever depending on what just got knocked out and what you need retriever for this gorbis is like the main reason that you're playing for because it's a one of but you need it out like all times and that's mostly what good players will target if they see this um they'll probably target it because they kind of understand that that's the engine of your deck just playing two bills maintenance this is kind of a uh, bad card but not in this deck um so bills maintenance if you have any cards in your hand shuffle one of them into your deck then draw three cards so the main reason for this card is so that you can keep streaming reactive generators. I could see a cut of Bill's Maintenance for a third Huntail because drawing into your Huntail's raw is like so, so good. And, and if you hit Huntail into Surprise, your deck is just kind of working. You know? So the main reason for that is, is you can Huntail, reactive generator, put a react energy on it, you know, get the cast form, put the cast form on, put this back. And now it's just sitting in your hand. If you don't have a Rockets Admin, this is stuck in your hand and you don't really want it in your hand. You want it in your deck so you can reactive generator. So Bill's Maintenance, you can shuffle this back into your deck um, and then, yeah, shuffle one in your deck and then draw three cards. So hopefully you don't draw it again uh, because that is absolutely something that can happen. But mainly for putting those react energy back because you do want to be a, a little bit quicker and accelerating um, than you know, just having the Huntail on, cast forming, and then not being able to use reactive generator in the same turn. Bill's Maintenance lets you use it in the same turn, which I was playing one Celio's Network. Uh, so this is just because you're playing a Lapras. So you can search for this uh, off of a Mentor. And then if you just need to find a Gorbis or a Huntail next turn to start doing stuff, um, this kind of lets you find that. So search for a basic Pokemon or Evolution card. Go to your opponent and put it in your hand. So mainly just for finding your Evolutions. But uh, also if you need to find a Ditto or something, can be nice. I was playing one Hall and Scientist. So Hall and Scientist, if you have less cards in your hand than your opponent, uh, you have to discard a card first, obviously, because it's a Hall and card. If you have less cards in your hand than your opponent, then you draw until you match them. So this is mainly just if your opponent has a crazy big hand, if they just played a Steven's Advice or something, um, and they have like 11, 12 cards in their hand, you can discard a card and then draw a bunch of cards, um, which is really clutch, especially just a one of because you can find it with Hall and Transceiver. Then you're also playing one Hall and Adventure. So Hall and Adventure, discard a card from your hand. If you can't do that, you can't play a card. Uh, then you just draw three cards. So not amazing, but uh, just a decent draw, especially with Transceiver. Sometimes you just need to draw some cards, and uh, Scientist, your hand's too big to be able to do that. So Adventure, just that in that in for that situation where uh, you just need to draw some cards. Okay, getting into energy, you're playing four double rainbow energy. So DRE, um, worth two of any color. So Psychic for the Mystic Water, which is really nice. Uh, it can only be attached to evolved Pokemon that are not EX or have, uh, have a name in them. I'm pretty sure it can't be attached. Uh, just to EX, you can do name stuff no ex so having that too and then it does 10 less damage to your opponent's active pokemon so you know mainly you want to have that on your bench and be attacking with a cast form on a gorbis if you have to attack with it on a gorbis it's not that bad but having the minus 10 in the active is kind of a bummer but if it's just sitting on your bench it doesn't give you that minus 10 so that's uh, kind of nice just one of those energy accelerations there that uh, is really important to getting your psychic uh, energy out i was playing four react energy uh, so react energy provides one colorless energy but Works with Reactive Generator and uh, Reactive Booster. That's the main reason that those are in the deck. Also, uh, Reactive Aroma, if that's uh, a matchup that you need to be worrying about. Okay, uh, this has been Gorbis for the uh, RS to PK format. If you have any questions about the deck, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to get to them. And uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. We will see you next time.